Hey guys, Mike here from Mike Bob Films, bringing you what I finally promised to bring you, Belthazar's Big Top Bonanza Guide. Uh, a guide on how to get the uh, full Ringmaster outfit. Uh, you don't see the uh, cone here, because I don't like the cone, so I'm not going to show it, because it's ugly. But the rest of the outfit is totally badass, and I hope you guys will enjoy this guide. Now, from what I can tell so far, um, from the research that I've done, there's not a whole lot out there, and a lot of people have speculated on what is the best route or the best way to get the ringmaster outfit or to break 1200 points um, you have to get 1200 points or above in order to get a ringmaster outfit item um, there's a lot of other items that you can get as well um, as you can see here but uh, this is what I from what I can tell is the best possible way and uh, so I'll be showing you guys a walk through here in a second I hope you guys enjoy now to find your way to Balthazar's Big Top Bonanza, or The Circus, I suggest you go to RuneScape's wiki page. Um, there's a link in the description right now. Um, it will give you a photo of the location of the Big Top Bonanza, or The Circus. And uh, so find your way there as soon as, as, soon as you can, and uh, I'll show you a walkthrough coming up here next. Now the trick with The Circus is that you can only do it one time a week. So it's very difficult to actually get the ringmaster outfit or an item of it. You'll get a lot of the uh, the clown or the acrobatic or the uh, village people, I want to call them, um, outfits as well because they're a lot easier to get. Um, so there's a lot of luck based in this. Even if you do everything exactly how I say and do it perfectly, you will still have issues getting it and it will still take you a very long time. I've been trying it for this for several months now. So I finally got this very recently. Now, the key with this one is that, see, now here, you want to keep the audience liking your performance. I don't know if you guys can read the text or, at all right now, but what you want to do is do things back and forth. So you can do 10 emotes and 10 actions. So in the agility portion, 10 backflips or big leaps. In the magic portion, um, 10 of a, either teleport or alchematize. And then in the range portion, there's the there's a spinning the spinning guy, and then the the knock down the duckies. I don't know what those are called. I know those have actual circus names. Now, what I've figured out so far is that you're allowed to do ten of those, and then ten emotes. So what you want to do is, you will start out with an emote, and then do a level ninety nine action. Do another emote, then do another level ninety nine action. Now you have to do the higher level emotes or the higher level actions in order to have the best chance of getting the ringmaster outfit. Now, you're watching me do it exactly the correct method here. Um, I started out, if you go back and look at it, if you, uh, you will see me doing the yes emote. Now that's the tricky part with the emotes, is that um, you have to do a high action emote. So either like the mime ones, or the dancing ones, or uh, some of the goblin ones as well will work. But you want to have a high action emote, saying yes, or beckoning, those won't do as well. Um, so what you want to do is in between every action do an emote now and you want to do 299 and then do a 90 level 90 action do two level 99 and then do a level 90 action now this will break up the level 99 actions if you continue doing like three 99s in a row you will bore the audience and then you will lose a lot of points now it's worth the sacrifice of the points given per action to do a level 90 in order to keep the audience enjoying your varied performance. Now here I take 10 of each. Um, you can do it, the magic portion, you can do it all with either alchematize or um, teleport. Either one works. I like to go back and forth. It gives me some variety because I've done this so many times. It's you know, And as always, start with an emote because that's the best thing you can do. Um, because one, if you, um, if you start out with an action, and then do two emotes in a row, you will bore the audience. No matter what the emote is, if you do two of anything in a row, you will bore the audience. I, what The research told me that you know you should wear a fancy outfit as well. Now that is something that's I agree with completely. Now, as far as what outfit you should wear while you're doing this, I'm not quite sure. Um, I As soon as I got... I started out with um, a random event. I started, I think, with the uh, mime outfit because I have a full mime. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, any of the random events, any of the holiday events, as long as it's a full costume, not just like a hat or like a rubber chicken, it has to be a whole outfit. Um, 
and once you start getting cuz you will probably get either the the uh, clown or the acrobatics outfit before you can finish the ringmaster outfit so I would wear those because I think those actually give a little bit of a boost from what I can tell over like random event or holiday event outfits so uh, this is just me uh, continuing on and doing the uh, all three events now what you can see here is I'm I'm still switching I can't stress stress this enough you have to try to get the maximum amount of points per action based on or compared with the audience's attention. So again, do 299s and then do a level 90. And in between every one of those, do an emote. I I actually almost got 1,200 points one time without doing any emotes, but it adds about 100 to 200 points, I would say, doing the emotes. So it's definitely worth it, especially if you mess up. Now, in order to get a Ringmaster outfit item, you have to do almost perfect I think you can miss one emote or make one mistake as long as all your emotes are perfect. Now, as you can see here, when I did the acrobatics one, I failed an action. And then when I did the magic one, I believe I did a wrong emote. No, and I also failed an action. Now, I suggest doing the high level ones over the lower level ones. Even though once you do an action, a level 99 action, you will not get XP for that again. And if you do. Like, if you start at 99 and work your way down and do 90 and then do the level 80 and do the 70, you will get a ton of XP. But this is a guide for the Ringmaster outfit, not the XP itself. Now, okay, so, let's see here. The range one is kind of uh, a bastard for me because I have a lower ranged level. Now, your levels do affect it. You can't complete a level 99 action even if you have level 1 in that skill, which is um, agility, magic, and uh, range. Now... I would still suggest you do the higher level ones, again, for the more amount of points. Um, I And it is still possible to fail an action, even if you have 99 in that skill. Now, I have 99 magic, and as you can see from back in the magic performance, I did fail, I think, one of the alchemy spells that I cast. And so that's why I, did, I didn't break 1,200 points. Now, I've been trying to get footage for this for about three or four weeks now, and it's very, very random and very, very difficult to do this, even at level 99 skills. So... I wish you guys luck, and uh, and uh, I hope you guys can get your ringmaster outfit. One more thing with the range event is that you you on every one of the other ones with the acrobatic or magic you will stand in one area and you will stay casting or doing agility things in that area. Now with the range you need to switch back and forth between the two areas, either the uh, shooting area like the spinning man or the ducky the ducky shoot I don't it doesn't matter which one you begin with but as long as you start one and then do five and then go to the other one and then do five so all right I hope you guys enjoyed the guide uh, make sure to like favorite comment subscribe and troll away peace out guys and good luck getting your ringmaster outfit it is a bastard peace out